Smart home company Nest is making a big security push. Here in San Francisco, the company held a hardware event to show off a whole bunch of new products, including two new cameras and a whole new home security system. So Nest's first product they announced today is a uh, update to their outdoor security camera. So this is called the Nest Cam IQ Outdoor. Essentially, it's an upgraded version of the original Nest Cam Outdoor that came out a couple years ago, although this one now packs the technology from the IQ Indoor camera that came out back in May. This camera is now uh, water resistant up to uh, IP66, which is better than the original camera's IP65. Um, it's got a better field of view so it can see kind of the full uh, front door step, you know, people who are really tall or even if there are packages on the ground. Um, it's got uh, built-in HDR so that if there are uh, lighting changes going on with different weather effects or if somebody's kind of blocking uh, the sun, it'll, uh, it'll still be able to see what's in front of it. So the original Nest Cam Outdoor needed uh, the Nest Aware subscription service to be able to tell you when there are people walking in front of it. Now this camera can do it on its own and Nest is including that feature for free. So if you're already a Nest Aware subscriber or you're looking for a more robust motion and person tracking system, this camera can do some pretty neat stuff. It makes use of Nest's sister company, Google's FaceNet software. It can learn over time to recognize people who come up to your door, whether that's family members, friends, uh, the mailman, uh, and then it will be able to send you alerts uh, telling you who that person is before you even uh, have to look at the camera. Unlike the previous uh, outdoor camera Nest made, this one actually plugs in into your house and into a wall outlet, which is uh, for some people a little bit more reassuring that they don't have to worry about having something plugged in outside. So Nest is still selling the original Nest Cam Outdoor for $199. This one uh, will ship in November for $349. If you want to have that Nest Aware subscription service that gives you the facial recognition uh, and a few other uh, new features, that will cost you $10 a month or $5 after that for every new device you add to it. So if you already have Nest Aware and you want to add this to your current system, it'll be $5 more a month. The Nest Cam IQ Outdoor isn't the only camera Nest is announcing today. They have a second one called Nest Hello. And as you might guess, this one is a doorbell camera. It has a camera up here, a 1080p camera, and uh, it has a microphone and a speaker down here on the bottom. And this uh, touch sensitive doorbell ring. Like all of Nest products, this one kind of syncs with the app. You get alerts when uh, people walk up to the camera uh, and uh, you get alerts when the doorbell is rung. It's the widest field of view of any uh, Nest Cam that they make. It's a 160 degree field of view. It also has HDR. One cool thing Nest Hello does is called uh, quick actions. So effectively, if somebody's at your door, they ring the doorbell or, or you get the, the person alert that shows that somebody is standing in front of your door, you can then uh, pick from a, a quick list of actions uh, and even uh, automated voice prompts that will then go down to the Nest Hello and communicate with the person standing in front of your door. Another feature Nest is building is the product uh, is tentatively called Warm Welcome. And that's gonna be a, a, a glow that shows up on the light whenever it detects somebody walking up at night. That way uh, it kind of acts as a welcome to you if you live there, or it also acts as a deterrent in case somebody thinks they can walk up to your door, they see the light, they think they're being watched, they, uh, they get out of there. So unlike the other camera Nest is announcing today, uh, this one does not come out in November. Nest is shipping this one in the first quarter of 2018. We don't yet know how much it will cost. Nest's big message here at its hardware event is that they want to add more security features and more security products. So the central focus of Nest Secure is the Nest Guard. So this device, it plugs into the wall, uh, connects over Wi-Fi, and it uh, sits near your front door. Essentially, this is where the alarm will go off if anyone enters your home. Now, there are three ways you can turn that alarm off. You can uh, either use one of these key fobs here uh, by tapping it uh, right here on the Nest Guard. You can, of course, give these key fobs to friends and family. They even have time limits on them, so you can set the time limits in a mobile app that determines when these key fobs can be used to turn the alarm off. You can uh, remotely uh, turn the alarm off using Nest's uh, mobile app, or you can uh, put in a key code here. There are no numbers on this uh, version of the device, but it will have numbers in the final uh, product. Nest Secure also has a remote arming system. So say you leave the house, or say the last person who leaves the house, uh, your, your son or your daughter, and they forget to arm the system somehow. The mobile app will send a notification to you asking you uh, to remotely arm the system if it doesn't detect anyone's phone in the home. So Nest's whole secure system has a few other gadgets going on besides the guard and besides the key fob. These little devices here uh, are called Nest Detect. These are essentially uh, motion uh, detection systems and they detect when doors are open or closed. So this uh, device here, uh, it sticks right up near the jam of the door and uh, it pairs with one of these smaller devices here and they communicate uh, using magnetism. So essentially, if 
this device detects that this one has moved. So if a door is opening or if a window is opening, they will then trigger the alarm. One thing to mention about the Nest Detect is that it has a quiet open button. So say you want to get up really early and you want to go for a jog or something like that, you don't want to basically set off the alarm and go through that whole process. Press this button here and it'll basically briefly disarm and then rearm the security system. One last hardware product in this family is called uh, Nest Connect. So this is just a booster for all the other devices in the, in the event you have a large house and you're worried about the signal uh, basically reaching all the different devices. The reason this is important is because Nest has made the secure system modular, meaning you can add, uh, you can add on new key fobs, you can add on new detects, you can add on as many as you like, basically they're all, they're all sold separately, and you can create an entire system where every window or door, uh, at least the ones you're worried about, have these motion detection and door opening and closing uh, systems hooked up to them. One thing to mention is that uh, in the event of a storm or in case your Wi-Fi goes out, you're probably wondering, like, how do I get into my home? So Nest has a uh, T-Mobile backup option that you can pay for. They also have a professional home monitoring service called Mani that will effectively alert law enforcement if the alarm goes off. If you want to opt instead for the cell backup from T-Mobile, it's going to cost you $5 a month or $50 a year. Nest hasn't announced pricing yet for the, uh, the third-party partnership with Mani. Nest is selling the whole secure system this November for $499. Um, if you want to add on new gadgets in this family, an extra Nest Detect will cost $59, and uh, an extra key fob will cost $25. For all the information about every single product Nest announced today, check out TheVerge.com and subscribe to us on YouTube at youtube.com slash TheVerge.